Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 102. In this video, an improved version of the hidden triple search algorithm will be presented. Plus, in the second half of the video, a new way of coloring candidates will be presented. This new way will allow you to search for hidden triples on cell phone apps that do not support candidate level coloring. Also, this new way can be used for finding hidden triples if you are solving puzzles using paper and pencil. Here's a list of prerequisite videos for this video. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. When searching for hidden triples, we will search through all 27 houses. A house in a Sudoku puzzle is a set of nine cells making up a row, a column, or a three by three block. Some people use the word box instead of the word block for the three by three cell areas within the nine by nine grid. We will search each of the nine rows, we will search each of the nine columns, and we will search each of the nine blocks. Every Sudoku puzzle has a constellation of givens. This puzzle has a total of 30 givens. The given number is colored in black, and the background of the cell is colored in gray. When we choose and place a number in a cell, this is called a value. In this example, cell 5, 2 has a value of 2 and is indicated by the color blue. Open cells are either blank or they have tiny little numbers in them known as pencil marks. Take a closer look at the house making up row 5. This house has a total of two open cells. Cell 5, 5 and cell 5, 8 each both have a 5 and a 7 for pencil marks. These two open cells form a naked pair. Pencil marks are also known as possible candidates or just candidates. What makes a cell an open cell is that it's not a given and it has not yet been set to a value. Next, take a closer look at the house making up row 2. As we are searching for hidden triples, the first thing we are going to do is count the number of open cells in the house we are currently looking at. The house making up row 2 has 4 open cells. Here's why counting the number of cells is useful. If there's one open cell, then all we have is a naked single. If there are 2 open cells, then we have a naked pair. If there are 3 open cells, then we have a naked triple. For a hidden triple to exist, there has to be at least 4 open cells in the house. Again, consider the house making up row 2, which has 4 open cells. Notice how cell 2, 9 has a naked single in it. The only remaining possible candidate is the number 7. Here is a diagram showing two subsets occurring in the house making up row 2. The first subset is a hidden triple colored in purple, and the second subset is a naked single colored in green. There are two non-possible candidates colored in dark red. In this case, where the house has only four open cells, we would never look for a hidden triple. We would always look for the naked single first because finding naked singles is so much easier. We set the value 7 in cell 2, 9 and we remove the non-possible candidate. All we are left with is a naked triple in the three remaining cells in the house making up row 2. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Take a closer look at the house making up column 4. The house making up column 4 has 5 open cells. Here's a diagram showing the two subsets occurring in the house making up column 4. The first subset is a hidden triple which is colored in purple, and the second subset is a naked pair which is colored in green, and the three non-possible candidates are colored in dark red. Here is another case where we would not search for a hidden triple. In houses having only five remaining open cells, we would first look for a naked pair. Or second, we would look for a naked triple hidden pair subset combination with five remaining open cells. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Take a closer look at the house making up box six. This house is composed of six open cells. We are currently diagramming two subsets occurring in the house. The first subset is a hidden triple colored in purple, and the second subset is a naked triple colored in green. The three non-possible candidates are colored in dark red. Again, as with the houses having four and five open cells, we would not search for a hidden triple 
with the house having only six open cells. This is because we would always search for a naked triple first, since naked triples are so much easier to find. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. This time we are highlighting two subsets in the house making up row 7, which has seven open cells. The first subset is a hidden triple colored in purple, and the second subset is a naked quadruple, which is colored in green. Now here is where it gets interesting on deciding it's time to look for a hidden triple. As you should know from the prerequisite videos, a naked triple is composed of three cells, where each cell has two or three candidates per cell, but all from the same set of three candidates. This is covered in exhausting detail in DX Sudoku video number 51 titled 56 Different Types of Triples. I prefer to look for naked quads before I would look for a hidden triple, so I would always look for a naked quad before I would ever look for a naked triple. But notice how the naked quad highlighted here is probably one of the hardest ones to find in any puzzle. The way candidates appear in cells for naked quads is similar to the way that candidates show up in the cells for naked triples. Naked quads are composed of four cells, where each cell has two, three, or four candidates per cell, all from the same set of four candidates. As you can see in this example, our naked quad only has two candidates per cell. These are really hard to find sometimes in a puzzle. So you could argue for houses having seven open cells remaining, we should include these houses in our search for hidden triples. But for now, just as with the houses having only four, five, and six open cells remaining, if a house has seven remaining open cells, we will skip it in our search for hidden triples. We update our algorithm to include only searching for hidden triples in houses having seven or less open cells remaining. In other words, only search for hidden triples if the house has eight or nine remaining open cells. Consider the following Sudoku. We begin our search. When we get to the house making up row five, we find a house having eight open cells. Next, we are going to disqualify any candidate numbers occurring more than four times in the house. The sixth candidate is disqualified from being considered to be in a hidden triple because it occurs four times in the current house. Next, for each cell in the house, if the cell has only one remaining candidate, that candidate number is disqualified as being part of a triple. This part of the search algorithm was not in my original number 11 video. I added this rule as step two in the hidden triple quick video. Take a closer look at cell 5, 2. After marking the 6 in dark red, this cell now only has one remaining candidate, which is the 1 candidate. This means all the 1 candidates in all the other cells of the house are now disqualified as being part of a hidden triple. This is because all triples are composed of 3 cells, where each cell has either 2 or 3 candidates from a set of 3 candidates making up the triple. Having just one candidate in a cell is not enough to make a valid triple. All the one candidates in the house are now marked in dark red. We repeat the current step of the algorithm. There was only one seven remaining in cell five comma five, so all the sevens are now disqualified. There was only one five in cell five comma one, so all the five candidates are disqualified. There was only one eight left in cell five comma seven, so all the eights are disqualified. There are no more cells left in the house having only a single candidate remaining, so we move on to the next step in the algorithm. At this point, with all the remaining cells in the house having two or three candidates, we try different combinations of cells until we find a valid triple pattern. Remember, a valid triple is composed of three cells where each cell has two or three candidates from the same set of three candidates. In this example, we have only three cells left, so our choice of which combination of cells to use is easy. All three cells have two candidates, and all three cells only have two, three, and four as the set of candidates being used. 
In other words, the two, three, and four candidates are only occurring in exactly three cells in the house making up row five. So we find a valid hidden triple in the house making up row five. The candidates are now highlighted in purple. Here is a better view of the two subsets we have in the house making up row five. The first subset is a naked quintet colored in green, and the second subset is a hidden triple we found colored in purple. All the target candidates to be removed are highlighted in dark red. Before we delete the non-possible candidates, let's consider the logic for how the hidden triple works. We begin by assuming the non-possible 6 candidate in cell 5, 4 has been set to the value of the cell. The 6 in cell 5, 4 causes a 3 to be set in cell 4, 4 and a 7 to be set in cell 5, 5. The 3 and 7 being set causes a bunch of other cells to be set to a value. But now we have a problem. Because we have a 3 in cell 5, 3, we have two candidates left in cell 5, 8. Having a 3 in cell 5, 3 means we do not have enough cells remaining for placing the number 2 and the number 4 in the house making up row 5. This is because there must be at least three cells reserved for the candidate numbers 2, 3, and 4 making up the hidden triple. This type of chaining logic works for each target candidate within the three cells making up the hidden triple. We have visually confirmed the logic and we remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle. Next, just two more short examples showing special cases of finding hidden triples. Consider the following Sudoku. We begin our search. When we get to column 6, we find a house having 7 open cells. The 6 and 8 candidates have been disqualified because there is 4 or more of each one in the house. The 2 and 3 candidates have been disqualified because there was a cell in the house having only one candidate remaining. We have found a hidden triple in the house making up column 6. We have two subsets. The first subset is a hidden triple colored in purple and the second subset is a naked quadruple colored in green. Target candidates to remove are colored in dark red. We visually confirm the logic and we remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle. This example was different than the previous one because the hidden triple was in a column and the two subsets were composed of a naked quad and a hidden triple. In the next short example, during the search for a hidden triple, a special case will be demonstrated. Consider the following Sudoku. We begin our search. When we get to column 9, we find a house having 8 remaining open cells. Candidates 2, 3, 5, 7, and 8 are all disqualified because there are 4 or more of each one. The 1, 4, and 6 candidates are disqualified because a cell in the house had only one candidate remaining for each of these numbers. There are no candidates remaining in the house making up column 9 we can use. This means there can't be a hidden triple in the house making up column 9. We update our algorithm to take into account this special case. When this happens, we move to the next house for the next search attempt. When we get to the house making up box 4, we find a house having 8 remaining open cells. The 2 and 7 candidates are disqualified because there are 4 or more of them in the house. The 3, 4, and 8 are disqualified because there's a cell having just one remaining candidate for those numbers. The 1, 3, 6, and 9 are disqualified because there's a cell having just one of each candidate. There are no more candidates left in the house to form a hidden triple, so we move on to the next search. When we get to the house making up box 6, we find a house having 8 remaining open cells. The 1, 3, and 9 candidates are disqualified because there are 4 or more in the house. The 5 and 8 are disqualified because there's a cell having just one of each candidate. There are only three cells remaining in the house making up box 6, 
each having two, four, and seven as possible candidates. We have found a hidden triple. The first subset highlighted in green is a naked quintet, and the second subset highlighted in purple is a hidden triple. We visually confirm the logic and we remove the non-possible candidates. I included this extra example because finding a 333 box type hidden triple is extremely rare to find in a puzzle. Although finding a 333 box type hidden triple is not as rare as finding a Phoebus Pokemon, I still wanted to show you what I thought was a very cool puzzle. Next, a new way of coloring candidates for finding hidden triples will be demonstrated that can be used on cell phone apps or solving puzzles with paper and pencil. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. Before we begin, we need to change one setting in Hadoku. From the Edit menu, select Preferences, then select the Colors tab. Click on the Selection Color dot dot dot. Click on the gray color swatch, second row, first column. Click OK twice to exit the dialog boxes. Notice how cell 1, 1 now has a gray selection cursor. Next, we begin searching for hidden triples according to the algorithm. Take a closer look at the house making up row 1, which has 7 open cells. There are 3 2s, there are 3 5s, and there are 5 6s, so the 6s are disqualified. We hold the control key down and we select all the open cells in row 1. We right click anywhere in the puzzle and select exclude 6 from the pop up menu. All the 6 candidates have been removed from the house making up row 1. If you were using a cell phone app, you would use your finger to touch and remove each six from each cell. And if you were doing paper and pencil, you would erase the pencil mark for the six from each cell in row one. There are two sevens, two eights, and six nines in the row, so the nines are disqualified. The twos and eights are now disqualified because there's only one of each in a single cell. And we find a hidden triple in the first three cells with the four, five, and seven candidates. Next, we're going to add back candidates or pencil marks for any cell that is currently blank. We begin with cell one comma five. We add back the pencil marks. Next, we look at cell one comma six. We add back the pencil marks. Cell one comma seven is next. We add back the pencil marks. And finally, cell one comma eight we add back the pencil marks. So we had two subsets. The first was a hidden triple and the second was a naked quad. This completes finding hidden triples using the remove candidate method or the remove pencil mark method. This completes Dxadoku training video number 102. Please support Dxadoku. Thank you for watching.